Here I have a list of grades and I have an average for each student. Now I have been asked to solve this. For the first case, I need to mark the students with the word excellent if their average is above 95%. So we're going to start an if function and the first argument will be our logical test. So what is our logical test in this case? Our logical test in this case is that our average is greater than 95%. I can either type it in or I can use the value in a cell instead of typing and refer to that cell. This obviously will be more flexible if you are going to change your threshold in the future. So having your values in a cell will be more easier and more transparent to change it in the future instead of changing your formula and that will be difficult to find. So I'm going to refer to my cell and don't forget to fix it by pressing F4. And that's basically our logical test. So now we are going to next argument, which is value if true. So if that value is true, I'm going to type excellent. And I will type it like this, because if you are typing in a formula, you have to insert two quotation marks. But in this case, I'm going to do a cell referencing again. I'm going to go and press the cell excellent. And don't forget to fix it by pressing F4. Okay, so what I should do if it doesn't happen? If it doesn't happen, then I want to do nothing. And nothing in Excel means two quotation marks. Then close your brackets and press enter. Now we're going to send this formula down and just double check. So now we have all the grades above 95% as an excellent. Now let's go to the next one. We want to mark the student as good if the average is greater than 88% and less than 95%. In this situation like this, we called AND function inside the IF functions. AND function will allow us to do logical test more than one condition. And in this case, we have two conditions to check. So we're going to start our formula with if function. But right here, before we start typing our logical test, we are going to put and function as well. The and function will help us to test what should occur and what shouldn't be inside the if function. So my first logical will be if the average is above 88%, or I can just refer to the cell again, and don't forget to fix it, press comma, and the next logic will be if the average is below 95%. Now don't forget to close your brackets for the logical and function test before you continue with if conditions. And now we go to if function. So we have decided our logical test. And the next argument is what should I do if both are occurred? If the average is between 88 and 95%, we will mark it as good. Otherwise, if the value is false, I don't want anything, which means in Excel, two quotation marks. And then I close my if function, press enter. I have to go back and fix the text here. Good. Now our formula in action, let's drag it down and see the results. So now all average between 88 and 95 is marked as good. Now let's go to the next challenge. We would like to know if the grade is between 88% and 95%. So this is similar to what we have done before, but we have additional condition. That's if the average is more than 96%, then I will mark as excellent. And the rest, I will add the percentage of the average here. So basically we are going to have mixed column. Some have text and some have percentage in here. How we deal with this condition, let's do it. So the first part will be exactly what we have done before. So I will just go here and copy my formula and just paste it here and bring my selection. So now if the average is above 88% and below 95%, I will mark it as good. And if it is not, I need just to test another condition. So if this doesn't happen, I still now need to go and test the average as an excellent average. So exactly in the value if false, I will insert a new if function. So what is our logical test? Our logical test that if the average is above than or equal 96%, we want to write excellent. Then comma. And if it is not, I will just bring my percentage from here. Add another bracket and press enter. Send this down. And now we have our good, our percentage as per the conditions here. This is how we use nested if, which means more than if in one formula. Now let's take a look to another case. Now in this case, if the average is greater than 98% and less than 88%, then we want to type in attention. So basically anything between 88% and 98%, we're going to leave alone. How to write this down now? So I'm going to start with if function. And another logical test we need to bring here is OR function. 
and all function will check for us if these conditions are applied or not. So the logical test here will be if this average is less than or equal this figure and the second logical test will be if this average is bigger than or equal 98% and don't forget to close the brackets of your or function. Next one is asking what should I do? What is the value if true? What should I do if this occur? Well, we just want to type the word attention. So I will just type it between two quotation marks. Otherwise, we're going to leave them alone and put nothing and then close my bracket and press enter. Now drag it down. So all the marks above 98% or below 88% under attention now. So our next example, I just want to show you that you can use symbol instead of the word attention. So the first step here, I will just bring my symbols here by pressing insert and then go to symbols and click my symbol. And then you can choose any type you want. For me, I will go for Arial. I will choose this one. So I press insert, then close. Then we have our symbol inserted to the cell here. So in this example, just now I need to copy and paste the same formula from here and paste it here and replace the word attention by referring to the cell where I inserted my symbols earlier. And don't forget to fix it by pressing F4 and press Enter. Let's drag down our formula and see the result. Now this will be easy to change. So if you want to insert another symbol in the future, you just go and insert it and it will be automatically changed. Now let's go to the second challenge. Now we will use a function of Excel to test partial match on text. So here, if our section is including a, b, then I will just type yes. If not, I will just type no. So here I have the grades, names, and sections, and I want to determine which one of the students are under section a, b. And if anything outside that, we will consider it as no. So to find the match of a, b, we cannot use the sign if then equals because cell here are containing another text. So we will bring in other functions called search. So I'll just start with if function and then bring search function. Now the search function will return the number of characters or just specific characters if a, b is found, reading from left to right. Now search function is asking me for the text to find, and that is the word a, b. Then I press comma, and it will ask where to look for that, and that will be within these cells. For the start number, we don't need to worry about, so I'll just close my bracket. And now we are done with search formula. And that's will search for the text, and if it finds it, it will return the number of its position. If it doesn't, then there is no number. So for that, I'm going to bring another function called isNumber. And this one was going to check if there is a number, it will return true. And if there is no number, it will return as a false. And that's talking the language of if functions. So I'll just bring the formula here. So now if this search function came back with value or number, it means that it found it. And now we will go back to if formula and close our logic by pressing comma. So if the function is true, we will bring the word yes between two quotation marks. And if the value is false, I'll bring the word no between two quotation marks. Then close our brackets and press enter. So drag down your formula and see the results. Now let's take this further and ask Excel if the section is included AB and AV, then bring yes. If not, then bring no. So I'll just copy and paste my previous formula from here. And now I'll bring OR function. And then Excel will ask you for the logical one and logical two. For logical one is our search we have done before here. So to find logical two, I will just copy my previous formula from here and paste it as a logical two and then press comma. And now I will change the search for AV instead of AB. So now I have two logics. One is for AB and one for AV. And for all function, I will add another bracket here and then I press enter. Now drag it down. So we'll have all sections, including AV and AB, highlighted with yes. 
And that's how we can use a function with partial match. I hope you find this video useful. Check for other tutorials at our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.